He's been in a wheelchair for nearly his whole life, but that's not stopping him from reaching new heights. Our Ben Dennis shows us a story of a determined athlete preparing for his 13th Boilermaker race. 19,000 people are registered to take the Utica streets this Sunday for the Boilermaker Road Race, and there's a process to get there. I wish I had more competition when I train. Uh, my competition is cars. If I can catch up to cars, that would be a good one. Wheelchair racer Herman Garrick first hit the summertime course in 2005. He was 15. My goal was to win a racing chair and uh, break the record that was set in this everyday chair. I did one out of two of those things. I won the racing chair and I was uh, a little shy of the record. During the Bosnian conflict, Garrick was hit with shrapnel at the age of four, then suffering a spinal injury while the ambulance he was traveling in crashed. His family then moved to Utica, where other relatives were living at the time. The move also offered better health care. Today, Garrick is keeping competition close by. I'm an athlete recruit. I go around and bring uh, competition for me to uh, race in the Boilermaker. He says 50 men and women are registered to race in a wheelchair on Boilermaker Sunday. You know, I strive to get the best in the world to come and experience, you know, the race of, of a lifetime here in Utica. Nigeria, Costa Rica, Canada, and Mexico, countries contributing to the high count of wheelchair racers. Fresh off the Peachtree 10K track in Atlanta, Garrick is happy to be where his competitive story began. It's always the, the best race to do for me and uh, my favorite, so it's all strictly competition. Garrick says he's on a roll to set a new personal record in his 13th consecutive Boilermaker. Reporting in Utica, I'm Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.